Hello everybody, this is Naomi. I am back today to do a, a walkthrough of my fairy journal. Uh, we've been doing this in uh, Line Dot Arrow Junk Journals. Uh, we've been doing different challenges for her um, anniversary challenge. And this is Natalie, and I can't pronounce her last name. It's H-E-I-J-N-E. -E. And she has some beautiful kits. I love them. Uh, I purchased several of her kits. And this one was beautiful. Easy to work with. She gave um, freebies to go with it. Um throughout the challenges and you've already seen the challenges because I've already posted them so I want to give you a walkthrough of my journal so this was a tag that I originally started out with and I liked it so much I thought well I'll just go ahead and make it my, my cover so once I put it on my cover you know the outer edges looked a little uh, empty so I added more to it and this is how she turned out and I just I put the um, glitter glue on a lot of it so that it would shine and I put this on the back with some lace so I haven't put anything on the tassel yet. Uh, I want to put some beads on it, but I haven't found um, the right ones to put on it. I'm looking for my uh, a certain set. So we're going to start on our flip through. Okay, so the first page is, I have a pocket here, and this is a pocket or uh, envelope. That was part of the kit. And then here's some um, uh, tags. These are tags that I made. I took the cover sheet of her um, kit and tore it apart and made a master board and then made tags and journaling cards out of them. And this is one of her journal cards, and I liked it so much that I didn't I didn't add anything else to it. The back is writable, and this little girl here, I just loved her. She is the main character, and I didn't want to lose her image, so I doubled it and made a pocket out of it. And this is one of our challenges, was to decorate a uh, mushroom house. This was one of them that I did. And she just goes in there. The next page, it speaks for itself. I love this one for journaling space. Uh, it was just too pretty to put anything else on, so I left it. Added some trim, as you see on both of these. I didn't say that. Uh, the next page, I left it for journaling space. This is one of the envelopes with the kit. And in this kit, there's some more of her tags. And whenever I put this down, I really wasn't, I, I lined it find her envelope and I put this beautiful butterfly down too but I also made it a tuck spot and these are cards that she supplied with the kid so that gives you even more journaling space added some lace and this was a another challenge it was to do a stackable stacked teacups and I made a 
um, notepad. I just put these two, I cut the center, put this cup down inside that cup, glued them together, put it on another piece of paper, traced it to where it would be double-sided, and I could flip it, and made some paper, put it in it, traced it, cut it, stapled it together, and all my bladder flies stand up. They're too pretty not to have their wings to be seen. And then I made this. All it is is three hearts punched out in different types of paper. And I have these flower clusters and I put that in there. And it glued it down here on the side and the bottom. The rest is open to where you can put a tag. I didn't want a tag in it so I put this in it. This I left for journaling space. Some of the pages are just so pretty. It's kind of hard to do anything with. I didn't want to touch them. So, just like this one. I didn't want to mess with it. Now this one. This was just something I was playing with. And it kind of came to life on its own. She made these, they're like little peacocks, doilies, and my, these are two together. I put a butterfly in the middle, and then I made it spin, so it would kind of be out of the way, and then you pull this card out. And then I made this card, well, the card was part of the kit, I made it look like it got burnt. And I will be doing another video on this really soon. So. And then you just slide it back in. And I put this here as a stopper. So once it got around here, it only went so far and stopped. And I put love story here due to the card. I put some pretty trims. Oh, I didn't show you the dangle. And I made this dangle to go with it. And it's hooked here on the corner. And then this page. She, to me, she just looked like she was either jumping a rope or running through the forest. So I thought, well, let's make her look like she's jumping rope. So I took this elastic and made her look like she's jumping rope. And it's a tag. And then I took this tag and did the same thing with it. And I made a pocket. Okay, over here, the, this is part of the stackable, no, this is the belly band one. We had to make a belly band. No, it's still part of the stacked teacups. I think, I don't remember. It's been, <laughs> I went on vacation this weekend and I'm just not getting back. So I've been gone, let's see, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um, had things to do Tuesday, today's Wednesday. No, today's Thursday. Had things to do on Wednesday, so this is the first day back in my craft room. But I made this, and all these are just little bitty teacups that I slit, stuck down inside, put some lace behind them, added a little bit of floral. And then this is part of her kit as well. It's a three page tag. And I just made a teacup set with some flower, with some butterflies and a bird. Highlighted a few things. And then whenever you flip it open, this has a uh, waterfall journaling spot. 
and then you got, of course, all the inside. And then I decorated the back. And you could write on the back if you desired to. And I added some more trim here. Flip it over. Um, this was to make a um, journaling page that was part of the challenge and this was mine was this one so I glued it in my book and I made it also a uh, text box and this is a tag that I made from my master board that I try to make sure there wasn't another one under there and then over here, I had some extra um, mushroom houses, so I took advantage of it and made this a flip up, and it's a journaling card where you can journal on it, but I didn't want to cover up this little fairy. So that's why I made a journaling spot there. And I added some material here for curtains here. And I added this little bird. Because I've been trying to figure out what to do with this little bird. I finally figured it out. Okay, and then I added some trim here. And then you flip it over here. Like, once again, too pretty to cover up. So I left it. You can either write in little spots, leave it alone. And then this one, I did, you can write underneath here. And then these were some of her tags. This is one of mine from the master board. And then I put a pocket here with some beautiful flowers that she supplied with the kit. And all the names and everything goes with her kit. Added some more lace. And flipped it over. This is another one of my tags that I made with the stacked teacups. Added some lace here. And just like that. Too pretty to cover up, so I left her. Over here is another one of her pockets. This is another one of my tags that I made from the master board. This is one of hers. Like I said, she's got some beautiful papers. And so many of them I just did not want to cover up. Here's another one of the tags that I made with the stacked teacups. And I did come in and color these and give it some bling bling. The butterfly wings do raise up where you can see them. And it's a journaling cord. And this was supposed to have been a four, a three sided. I didn't do that because I wasn't, wasn't sure what tags I was going to put in here and where. So I didn't want to limit myself to size. Okay, and then I put this trim. This is some older trim that I probably got from my grandmother or at the store. So, so we oops, come on, stay in there. flip it and I want this as a journal page this was another page that I didn't want to cover up this image so I doubled it as you can see and I made a pocket here and I put cookies and biscuits and cookies or cupcakes biscuits and cookies to go with your tea and this was one of my first tags that I made in the challenge I put these little fairies stickers 
and the windows and the doors. And it's also a um, journaling spot, but it is also a pocket. So that one comes, you know, does multiple things. Okay, and then I put this down like this. I fold this little page down. That way you can see the fairy peeking out the door. Then over here, once again, I had this, a bunch of little fairy houses. I liked this page. I didn't want to cover it up. So I just took these little fairy houses and glued them in. And she is just adorable. I love that little girl. And once again, same thing. These are some of the journaling cards for the kit. Beautiful. Added some more lace, as you see. There's some purple lace to bring the purple out in this page. Flipped it over. And here are those uh, fan uh, peacocks again. I took and split the bottom, or cut the, the peacock out. Slid the second fan peacock down as far as I could, and I made it a tuck spot. This is a journaling card from the kit. So is this one. All of these are. And I just put them in there like that. Wrap this as a writing spot. Wrap this side as a writing spot. Now this. Uh -huh. I was playing when I made this. You... Pull your tail and it opens up this way. And you have a journaling card here. And what I did, I lined the inside with the rose paper. I used the fairy cards that were journaling cards as pockets. And then I used the regular journaling cards in here. And then this flips up. This is another journaling card that I made from the master board. And I just left it, you know, it, it to me it spoke to itself. And then this is another, see, it all matches. Now this was a journaling card and I made another clear little notebook with more journaling space to put in there. And that's the journaling card too. And you just fold it back up. Bring this over here and this is the last page. back lace and then there's that page so if you like my video hit the like and subscribe I will be doing more journals uh, I have another boho journal that I'm fixing to start um, it's going to be done on black paper in a book like this and there's my black paper and the colors of this journal they're gonna it's the papers are going to stand out magnificently on this black paper let me give me a, an example Isn't that beautiful? So, this is what I will be working on this next week or so to get done. 
So I will be back with things on that. Um, like I said, I will be doing the video of showing you how um, I did the tags that made them look like they were burnt. So that's next on my list to do. So if you like my video, hit the like and subscribe. I'm still trying to get to 500 to 1,000 subscribers this year. Um, so any help would be very much appreciated. And if you subscribe to me, I always subscribe back because I believe in helping each other out and building each other up. So thank you and have a blessed day.